What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Today, Twitter Theater. New little series I'll probably be doing here every so often. But this here deals with Johnny from the Bronx putting out a tweet today to PSA. He received a card back with an unwanted grade. And he shows some damage done to the card. We're going to cover that a little bit here. And then we're going to go ahead and move into some of my thoughts and opinion onto it. This video may be a little bit quicker. Due to the fact we got some storms rolling in. Everybody remembers last year, about a year ago, uh, roughly, we had the big tornado come through uh, Kentucky. They're predicting all kind of crazy weather tonight. We'll see how well it goes. So I may speed through this a little bit more than normal today. So I was on there and I had this Twitter alert today. Don't follow this person or nothing. I'm like, oh, interesting. So it says, what's the move here, PSA card? This card did not have a huge gash in on the back. Circled in red. When I sent it back, it sent it to you back in September. Show you here. Boom, there we go. There's the card. PSA 1. Uh, the orange refractor out of 70. Oh, no, maybe it's a 75th. I thought orange was numbered out of 25, not 75. Anyhow, looking at this here. Looks pretty good in the front, don't it? But when I show you the back, you may, if you, well, if you're able to zoom into stuff like this, you might be able to see the front too. Kind of crazy. There you guys go. In the red there, there is a gash. So going from your 10 o'clock to your 4 o'clock on that, there is a gash into it. So I was blowing it up and stuff like that and looking. I'm like, man, somebody cut into that like with a razor blade. And when I was scrolling through the Twitter feed onto it, a lot of people are coming up, well, they didn't have this damage, that damage, ding corners, and all this. So, here's my thoughts. I know a lot of people are probably not going to like it, but it deals with how you package your stuff, really. I take an extra precaution with PSA. I still go by some of the old rules where I still rubber band stuff. I don't, you know, if I put in a bubble envelope inside a box, I just a rubber band it so that way they don't have an excuse to use a knife on anything at all. Because uh, if I'd seal that bubble mailer, they're going to have to use something to slice it open because they're not going to rip it open. Or if they try to rip it open, they can bend and buckle my cards as well, too. I still use the old cardboard and everything like that uh, around the cards and all that. But it was just surprising to see how many people were along this post. Now, some of it could be trolls. Some of it could be real. No idea. This guy showed some pictures. Some other people showed pictures of, like, ding corners and all that. So, my thoughts of probably what happened was, he sent it, they were slicing through the box or something that he had a package in, could have been taped up. Razor went through it. Uh, it's a shame that it happened this way, because it ruined a really nice card. But he was surprised that PSA didn't say anything about it. Now, PSA, my whole time, I believe it's only two cards now that they've ever really uh, ruined. And they've hit me up automatically on I mean, they gave me full market value, you know... Uh, chunk off the grading and stuff like that. Really great. Never had an issue with it. I mean, I'm just surprised that somebody would have missed this. Now, this could be somebody, you know, brand new. They didn't want to get in trouble. They've had too many write-ups. I have no idea. The grader, you know, sees it. And by the time it comes out of being unpackaged and thrown in research and ID, like, huh. I mean, you'd have to go back and look at video cameras of people opening stuff. I don't know how well they have them up close on to it. But what would be nice is once these cards come into PSA, now this is just my thoughts, because you have gentlemen out there. Why can we not see a picture of the card raw so that way, you know, like, hey, we received these cards from you while it's in research and ID. Do you notice any issues that weren't on this previously? And if you do, you know, that way you could, um, if you have insurance you paid for on it, you could be like, hey, I need those pictures. You can get your insurance claim and all that stuff done. I know it's a little more of a step process, but if I was somebody that had like a billion dollar grading company out there, I would provide pictures of the stuff as it comes in, like scans. That way, if something's ruined, and we know like during COVID stuff staff for a year, we weren't getting reimbursed onto it, you know, basically offhand. Why not have those scans available for people to make sure they know what's in there? And they can see, you know, hey, there wasn't this corner wasn't damaged and this and that. Just a little proof. I don't know, maybe a little more work and they don't want to do stuff like that, but I think it'd be a good thing because it put both the customer and the business at ease. So look at this, you know, it's, it's an X-Acto knife. This is the funny part of it all. 
Well, I shouldn't say funny, because it's really not funny. This here's another card that was the card right behind it, right up in the top right there. Another X-Acto knife. So, really odd that they had, and you can see it's two different cards. That's just Sean, I think Knowles or something like that. And a different first name there, Miguel. But somebody was pressing too hard onto it. And I think a lot of times we're at fault for the way we package our stuff. So we wanted to get there securely. In the old days, they used to have like this step-by-step -step process where some of you guys might remember, you used to have to like label this stuff by line number. Um, my gosh, I'm trying to remember what all there was. There was a bunch of stuff too. It was painful. And then it, they went away with that. You know, you just had to put the cards in order, try to do it by sport, but then by year and all that. You know, it is what it is offhand, but I think sometimes we're our own enemy out there. We're packaging our stuff up. The other thing is, you know, they have to dig into these, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I can't even think of it, the cases, the card savers. And some people don't even send them in card savers. They send them in top loaders. And if those things are tight and they're trying to pull them out, bad. The other thing I want to say with card savers, so if you have that card sitting in there for a while, and you haven't taken it out, and it's been around some heat or some kind of different uh, temperature, and this is coming from experience of people mailing me stuff. It's hard to get it up. They're like stuck inside from like, you know, like the plastic on plastic stuck in there. The sleeve to the inside of the card saver. And I'm like, man, I don't even want to mess with this because you could screw somebody's corners up in that. And it takes forever. But, if, you know, if I take a few minutes to do one, imagine PSA who's going through how many excess cards per day, per month, having to do that with a bunch of them. They're just going to go in there and grab them, pull them on out. So, yeah, it, it sucks to get something like this back, and somebody should have caught this along the way. Somebody had cut this, basically didn't want to get in trouble and just threw it through. But, I mean, this is just me. If I was a grader or I was in QA1 or even QA2 and I saw somebody, man, it's kind of weird. It's an X-Acto knife. This don't come out of packs like this. And why would somebody send this in? You know, it would have brought a flag to me as a supervisor and been like, all right, why is this having an X-Acto knife cut into it? The grader, like, hey, I got it this way. Research and ID. Did you guys notice this? Where did the scan come in at? Okay. It would just make sense to track it down and be like, hey, dude, we had somebody, uh, you know, opening stuff up. They sliced through your stuff because of this. We, you know, we owe you this. I don't know. Kind of crazy. I mean, when you're trying to press for numbers, and that's the thing I always hated about uh, anything kind of like warehouse work and stuff, they all want numbers. They don't care. They wanted to have maximum output. And if that's what's being pushed on and getting cards great, that's not good because you're talking about things worth a lot of money and you could damage somebody's stuff. Then you have that battle he said, she said stuff and it just never goes right. But I wanted to share this with everybody today, see what your thoughts and opinions are. I know a lot of people always say, oh, PSA screwed this card up, that card up and everything. From my experience, I've only ever had two. And we're talking in, oh gosh, probably 20 years of grading with them, too. And even with me uh, do, sending stuff in for a lot of my buddies that are overseas and stuff like that through time, two. That's all I could think of. Yeah, I, I can't even think of a third. Oh, I take it back, three. Three, because there was one guy that did damage and they gave him a big old fat check. Three. Three, and we're talking thousands and thousands of cards have gone through during that time frame. Probably tens of thousands between everybody at all. Because back then it was a lot cheaper to grade. Um, the other thing is, I think it were own fault. I mean, if you're using tape and stuff like that there, and they're trying to get speed to make, you know, Red Prairie numbers, which you'd have to understand Red Prairie and stuff like that there. But, you know, they're trying to get, get that stuff speeding through and in and out. Somebody slices it. Moves right on. You know, somebody dishonest might have caught it. Maybe they didn't catch it. I mean, honestly, I don't know how you don't catch this. Especially when it goes into research and ID and they're looking the card up like, whoa, there's a big old gash. Especially if that gash is through the card saver. That should tell you right there and there it happened at our business. They would Somebody would not send a gash in the card and the card saver both. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys had any bad experiences, something similar to this, always curious to hear the stories and stuff like that. Other than that, guys, I'm out. Catch y'all later.